Hello, Gumpla fans and friends and whoever else happens to watch this. Uh, I am Joe of Joe's Gumpla, here with another video. And this one's going to be kind of long. Very talky. And, um... I don't know. We'll see. Um... I will be taking a leave from Gumpla for a while. I mean, in, in a serious manner. Not like... I'm not leaving the hobby completely. Um, but it's it's gotten to a point where it's sort of unmanageable. And I can say... <coughs> I can say it's like um, that I'm too busy or that uh, I don't have time, but it's more along the lines of a lack of motivation. Um, there's a lot of reasons uh, for this, and it's, it's a lot of life stuff that I, I really don't know if I should be talking about it on my channel, but I'm going to anyway, because I only have like a hundred and some odd subscribers, and most of you have probably already turned off the video feed, so that's okay. Um, I should be on my last year of college for my bachelor's, and um, it's... These last two semesters are going to be tough because I need to fit in um, a couple extra classes so I can finish on time. Um, and I'm saying I'm a lot. I hate that. I really need to focus on that. I did pretty well. I, well, I did really well in college so far. Um, just got a letter from the dean, 4.0 doing good. And another reason is just money. Um, a hobby is expensive. Everyone knows that. A hobby is supposed to be expensive and that's why it's a hobby and it's something optional in life. It's not something that's required. Uh, you do need you know, recreation of some kind, but a hobby is something that you invest your time and passion into and time is money and your effort is money and sometimes the materials, or in this case, the kits, that they cost money. It's all money. So that's that's kind of like my reasoning for it. It's There's a lot of things going on right now. Uh, I, I took the last six days of work off. And I requested them off because I wanted to, among other things, you know, spend time with my brother who came in, uh, for a bit to visit the family. I haven't seen him in a few years. It was really good to see him. And I wanted to spend some time with uh, a very good friend of mine and that didn't happen because of conflicting schedules with my brother coming in. And that was very frustrating. Um, just because, like, this friendship is it's really important to me because she helped me through <laughs> like all of my depression that I've been feeling for the past year. Like it's, I feel like it's gone because she's just that understanding and caring and she, she got it and she explained it and she understood it and then, I don't know, everything just got better. It was weird. Anyway, so I didn't get to spend time with her, and that, that really bothered me. But another thing I wanted to do over this six-day break was practice airbrushing and finish up some kits that have been um, in progress for well over a year. A couple of them have been in progress for, like, two years. And I didn't hardly work on anything. Uh, the only thing I worked on was... Um, I showed in the last video the real grade Zeta Gundam 
and it's it's a complicated build. I knew it was going into it, and I just real grades frustrate the hell out of me. Uh, I, I I don't. It's it's very strange when you first get into a hobby. You can finish a kit in a few minutes once you get the hang of the basics because it's like you don't really care about well not for everyone because I've seen people go from nothing to expert but you know you finish a kit in a matter of uh, an hour if it's a small one a couple hours if it's a bigger one you don't you're not super careful about nubs you're not super super careful about painting all the details you just you want to get it done because it's your first kit or your first few kits and you're like just get it done get it done get it done but then as you evolve in, in the hobby and you start to you know respect the work that other people do and you think oh I want to do as well as that or better than that kits take more time they take more effort and you work harder at it and harder at it and it comes to a point where you're not even happy with your best results so you keep working harder and harder and it takes more time and more time and that's great for people who just get kits that uh, you know that they really want and they narrow down their choices and they get one or two at a time and for the longest time I haven't been doing that I've been wanting to buy everything I um, my current collection stands at 530 kits of that, 234 of them are either completely brand new in the boxes, in the bags, or they're in progress. So that's a huge backlog. Uh, it wouldn't surprise me, and that's just Gundam kits. Like, I've got a few other odds and ends models, like some Figure Eyes and uh, a Thousand Sunny and uh, the Mark V from Speed Racer and a few other things here and there. Uh, and you know that that doesn't count in in my database that I have. So you know that's I have a lot in my backlog, and I just don't have time to devote to making each one of those kits completed and looking as good as they can. So. Um, it's just I've got a lot of other important things I need to work on right now. Uh, I've got a car that isn't running, and if any of you are in a place that's like, I live in a town. It's it's big, but it's not like a big city, and we don't really have a very good bus system. Um, they started one uh, like a year ago or something. And they're still working out the kinks, and it's there's not enough buses to cover the whole area, and it's just a pain in the butt to navigate. So I've been very dependent upon rides from other people, and that's no way to live. Um, so I am, you know, I need to get my car straightened out. Um, I need to be planning for the next couple semesters and what I'm going to do after graduation and I need to focus on you know big boy stuff life things adult situations uh, I'm going to school I'm studying business administration and after that uh, I want to study um, entrepreneurial business or get a certification as an entrepreneur or something like that. My plan is to one day open up a store. I won't go into all the details because it's going to kick ass. I don't want anyone stealing my ideas. But uh, one of the things that I will be selling because it's my passion, it's what I love, is Gundam kits and hobby supplies. Which, I mean, if you know me, what else would I sell? Of course, it's going to be in there. I'm not saying it's going to be the whole thing because, let's face it, it's not the most popular hobby in. The United States, but I think I could do well spreading it while also selling and doing other things. But I've always wanted to have 
big display in the store. Um, either taking up an entire wall or maybe just uh, lining all the walls around the store with a couple of shelves and putting up every single kit ever produced by Bandai for Gumpla in order of production and then save some room for the invariable releases to come and then every so often have to reorganize and condense because we've gotten more kits and all that other stuff and we'll have store displays and it'll be fantastic and so that's why I really legitimately want to collect all of them but I just don't have time to work on them right now and right now financially I can't I can't keep buying kits the way I'm buying them so um, make sure I've covered everything here uh, yeah I mean it's just there's a lot going on so we gotta step back for a little bit let's take a breath um, like I said, I'm not leaving completely. I know uh, Henry has left the hobby, and he gave all of his stuff to Ed, which was, I mean, that was fantastic. That was great that he took, you know, all the tools that he had that got him to where he was as far as standing in the hobby, and he gave them to a young budding modeler who has taken those tools, and he has done justice with them. I mean, he has done a fantastic job, and that's really admirable of both of them. Um, just showing the camaraderie in the community, and for you know, someone as good as Henry to pass down his tools to someone he considered a close friend and almost like a student. I mean, that's that's awesome. That's heartwarming. That's the part of the best of humanity. And, and I know that sounds odd to compare the best of humanity to the Gundam hobby, but that's what it is. You're sharing what you love with someone else that you care about. And so Henry's left. <clears throat> I know a couple other people um, have had to leave the hobby for various reasons this past year. And so I just want to say, I mean, I know I don't have a lot of followers. I'm not that big on YouTube or anything, but um, I'm not leaving. Um, it's still something that I love very much, something that I will always have around. Uh, I've been building kits for 14 years. I can't imagine giving it up completely, ever. Uh, I am, I still have a few pre-orders that I fully intend to finish the purchase process. Uh, most of them are premiums that, I, you know, you get them or you don't. That's just it. You get them when they're out or you never see them again unless you want to pay way too much or the rare instance in which they're re-released by Bandai. So, um, I think I've got Makuve's Goof on pre-order. Uh, the Psycho Shard for Neo Zeong. Which I haven't even pre-ordered or ordered a Neo Zeon. I just I want that for when I do get one. <clears throat> and the 35th anniversary real grade Gundam with the Shar Zaku head that, in that display, I just thought that was really cool and um, a great way to commemorate, you know, the anniversary and and for me personally, my love of, of Gundam. So. Uh, I've got those on pre-order, and I fully intend on finishing those purchases. Um, this week, the high-grade G-Savior comes out, and I have several of those on order. Um, one is for a friend who's paying you back for it. Uh, the others are for me and my, some of my local friends. And then uh, Origin, the manga, fully intend on finishing purchasing those. Like I said in past reviews and mentioning of them, getting two copies of each volume because one day I'm going to take the, the whole set, keep one as a personal set, and they'll get beat up because I beat up books because I take them everywhere. And then the other set that I keep 
in mint condition, I was going to uh, kind of hold it off for when I have my store, and maybe I could sell it all as one set. It'll be kind of like the Holy Grail buy. That'll be, you know, up on a high shelf, hermetically sealed. Um, but yeah, that's where I stand right now. Just a lot going on in life. But it's time to man up. Stop playing with toys for a little bit. And, uh, take some responsibilities more seriously. For a long time, I had a good paying job with, I mean, decent paying job for my position. You know, my life position. Uh, and not a lot of bills. And someone who was splitting the bills with me anyway. And I had all this money, and I spent it to build my backlog. Uh, it was just maybe like five or six years ago, my backlog, I was lucky to have like 30 kits in backlog. And there were times way before that, there were multiple times before that, when I had no backlog for the longest time. Because I'd buy like one kit at a time and build it and be done for a little bit. And then, <clears throat> when I finally decided what to do with my life, you know, the store, I was like, I want every kit. I want them all. Don't care. I'm going to do it. And so, I was in a good position, and I built up my backlog like crazy. But I was also building like crazy because I had a lot of free time. And then, you know, things got bad for a bit. I lost my job. And then I went back to school, got another job, and then I got a second job. And then, uh, you know, personal stuff happened, split with my ex, all that fun stuff. I had to move in with my parents, and that's where I'm at now. You know, I'm working part-time. They're not really charging me a lot to stay here. I help out with things. You know, they're not even officially charging me anything because um, they love me. They're good parents. Uh, so, you know, and then I was still spending money like crazy, even though I didn't really have it. I was spending it on kit after kit after kit, and it's not, it's not feasible. I'm, I'm living beyond my means right now, and I can't do that anymore. I'm, I'm finally waking up. It's all catching up right now. So, um, I'm done ordering kits for a while. I mean, it's going to take... I don't even know right at, at this point in time. I don't know what premium exclusive they could come up with to uh, make me want to to buy anything again. I mean, it, it's going to have to be big, and my autofocus is going nuts. But that's that's pretty much it right now. Is I'm I'm done buying things. For now, like I said, finish out the kits I've already got on order. Origin. I need to pick up uh, the last three episodes of Unicorn on DVD. Thought about getting the Blu-rays, but I can get them later sometime. I don't even have a Blu-ray player. So, that's it. Um, usually, I cut out the video with a until next time, happy building. But I don't know when the next time's going to be. Uh, I know I said I would do an unboxing video of the Beam Javelins, the Hyper Beam Javelins, and the Dozel Zaku. I don't know if I'll get those up or not. I don't know if I'll do them. So, what I will say to you now is. Happy building forever. Enjoy your Gunpla. I will probably enjoy it from time to time when I get a free moment, but 
I'm going to finish up the real grade Zeta over here. And I've got some water slides i got to do and all that fun stuff. But I don't know when I'll be back. So take care, guys. Sorry the video was so long. You stuck with me till the end. Thank you. And uh, have fun.